Hey guys, this is Javier with Laguna Tools and today we're over at Jepson Boardworking where we just installed not one, but two of our brand new Smart Shop 2 Elites. Come check it out. We'll start off, um, it's still our one piece frame design, all welded, um, tubular steel. Comes in with the two piece vacuum system so you can still use your standard MDF and we can also do the pod system with our grid. We have one major upgrade that we did do, and that is our FANUC control. It's truly 100% FANUC. Everything is matched. I mean, from wire to motor to driver, everything is FANUC. So there's no cuts in between here and there. It's all 100% FANUC. So that's also 100% backed by us and by FANUC and service. So one of the great things we did here in our FANUC control, if you're used to the a traditional FANUC. Um, it can be a little tedious to navigate if you're new to a CNC or you've never used the FANUC operation control. What we did is we designed a set of screens for our customers to make that easier. If you come up and look at the screen, you're gonna see that we've done everything under separate blocks. So you have a specific page for your tools, gives you all your tool lengths. So you can do diameter wear on here so you can put in your radius wear in there. We can always, uh, we can also go back into our program. So if we go into program select, all our programs that are loaded are right here. So it's as easy as going down and selecting your file. That's the program we want. We'll load the program, it'll bring it in. You can even plot the program. So say it's been two weeks since you ran the last file. Now you are like, well, I don't know if this is the one I wanna run. We have a plot button where we can hit start and it's gonna give us what that file is gonna do. So now you see we're gonna cut out two parts up top and then one large part down here. Um, Joggability is all done right here. You have standard buttons, which would be your dust hood up down. Um, if you're running um, single block or optional stops, we have the buttons incorporated down here. Um, auto mode, edit mode, your standard FANUC buttons. So in edit, you can actually edit your, your file. Auto mode is when we're gonna get down to business. We even have, and this is mostly for troubleshooting, a service screen. So in this screen, when you press it, the first thing you're gonna see is we give you a couple phone numbers. So you'll get Fanix um, technical hotline, their phone number, and then it gives you the CNC type so you know exactly what you're requesting help for. On our side, we give you all of our tool positions so you know exactly where everything's gonna be. But as far as an overall, doing all these here makes it a lot easier on you or the operator to operate this machine. We'll go over a little bit of the frame. Let's take a look over here. So to start off, um, the machine's gonna come standard with a 12 horse HSD. Um, if you come up here, you know, you'll see the big FANUC motor up at the top. So it's a 750 watt motor. Um, they're all matched. Like I said earlier, you got your encoder cable, um, big uh, 25 millimeter linear bearings, a 30 millimeter ball screw. And then now if we look over at the actual frame and gantry, so we go up back to 25 millimeter bearings. And then as always, we always use the best drive system. So we go down to a rack and pinion. And if you come back here, you'll see why. So we'll use a helical rack with a helical gear. That way we're always guaranteed that as we're rotating, we're always in perfect contact with one tooth or the other. Now by doing that, we can reach speeds up to about 2,500 inches a minute and not have to worry about any bearing loss or a ball screw slap. So our four by eight or five by 10 um, all come standard with an eight position static tool changer. Um, so it's all in line. Um, you can see, I mean, you got clearance for quite long tools. So if you're doing a lot of 3D uh, surfacing or if you were doing a long mortise, you have quite a bit of room for the tools down here. Um, also your tool touch house sensors mounted back here. 
Another standard feature you're gonna see here is we include adjustable pop-up pins on here. So you get two in the Y and one in the X. Now, the reason we make them adjustable is if you're working with standard sheets, four by eight, five by 10, this would be your typical configuration. You'd have one in the middle of the X, one about two feet in the Y, and then the other one about six feet from the other, uh, other point. So this would, you got your melamine, you got your plywood, you just throw it on there, you slam it against the pins, you turn your pump on, the pins go down, and then you're ready to rock and roll. The only reason you would adjust them is if you were doing shorter sheets like um, four by four uh, Baltic birch or five by five Baltic birch, then we could bring that back pin in closer so you still have two contact points here and you have your contact point at the front. So like I was talking about it being 100% um, FANUC, um, so you go here, we have our FANUC HMI, and then once we get into the cabinet, you'll actually see we have our two FANUC um, servo amps, um, our IO, our breakout board. So everything here is always in constant communication. There's no PC, nothing that's gonna cause errors down the, down the line. Um, we're fiber optics, so there's no communication errors. Everything's shielded. You see our encoder cables are nice and shielded with uh, ferrite core straps. So. All in all, it's a good package. So the machine will come standard with our Laguna Universal Grid System. Um, it's a phenolic table, it's two piece, so it's sandwiched, so you have a plenum inside of there. So they come with a bunch of small plugs, so if you're only working a small area, you can actually block off all these plugs and you're only gonna generate vacuum here. The other way is if you use a pod to elevate your material, if you have to do side routing or undercutting, you put the pod directly over one port and then everything else is blocked off and now you have vacuum generation right there. Um, it works with standard uh, gasket um, and then pods. Um, you have your plugs and you can also run it with MDF like we traditionally do on panel processing. So right now we're gonna pick up uh, tool number two and we're gonna have it go touch off. So you're gonna notice it's gonna go down slow and it's actually gonna touch off three times. Every time it touches off after the first time, it's, it's calibrating itself to make sure that there's no error in the tool sensor or that the bit is loose. Thanks for watching guys. And if you have any more questions on our Smart Shop Tool Lead or any of our other Laguna Tools products, feel free to give us a call or visit our website at www.lagunatools.com. Thanks for watching.